LeVar Ball. We all know what LeVar Ball's shtick is. We all know that he does this, he does that. Jeff Goodman covered him in Lithuania when he took LaMelo and LiAngelo Ball, his two younger sons, to play for Vitautas. And Jeff Goodman uh, had Scott Van Pelt on his podcast. And here's what he had to say as he looked back at covering LeVar Ball. And I want to start by apologizing to you because on the second rail, uh, it's something about LeVar Ball saying he can beat LeBron. And, and I want to apologize to you because um, you always told me, you were like, I, I don't want to deal with that guy. I, I don't want to promote him. Um, and, and I kind of was probably the start of the LeVar Ball uh, promotional uh, tour. And now I completely regret it. So I, I want to apologize to you for that as I saw that because I, I never thought it would get to where it is. And and now I feel... You don't... You- you owe me no response, no, no apology. I just, I, I just chose at an early stage when, um, early on in um, his son's freshman year at uh, UCLA, one and all, the, the the only ball that ever made it there for any period of time, or made it on the floor for any at all. That that just, I, he's he's not a story to me. It didn't. It, that, that stuff doesn't interest me. And so I just kind of tapped out on all of it because, um, as I, I said on the air, I just I don't find it to be um, interesting. It, it's nonsense. I mean, you're talking junk about about Ron James and continuing yeah. to continuing to do so. I mean, you know, whatever, man. I get it, and you know what? I'll, I respect that mentality as well because he's right. Why? Why is he gonna write or or? Why is he going to talk about something that he's not interested in when he knows that he's not, he's a smart guy. He's not going to feed on to somebody who's just like kind of acting like a barbarian, just like speaking out of his butt the entire time just to get some attention. Mm -hmm. He's smart. He's picking and choosing his stories. He might have wrote one or two and then he's like, okay, is this it? Like, is this guy just going to keep this act going and Mm -hmm. and that's what we're all going to just talk about? I respect that. It's, I didn't even take it as a rip. It's just more so. A, a great journalist really picking and choosing the stories that people want to hear less of and more of in, in other departments. I took it as a rip because they had a falling out at one point, and it was not necessarily controversial. Right. LeVar said something. Well, here's what it was. During, uh, and here's LeVar Ball in Lithuania and him you know, uh, doing his thing, as I said, his shtick. I viewed it as a rip because I think Jeff Goodman was embarrassed to do it. He was embarrassed to cover him because us in the media, we understand what LeVar is. I take everything he says with a grain of salt. He's somewhat credible, though, because he's the father of a Lakers point guard. So sometimes it's true. Sometimes it's not true. Like, here was the exchange. During one of those Goodman-LeVar interviews, LeVar told Goodman Luke Walton had lost the locker room. And Goodman, doing what he was sent there to do as a reporter, published it. The remarks drew major backlash against LeVar. NBA coaches were furious. Steve Carr called him the Kardashians of the NBA, blah, blah, blah. So although we take him for what he is, and we're going to talk about him a little bit later, right. he's, uh, he brings attention. A, a lot, lot of people it. really like him, and that is why we continue to talk about him. All right, we have more to come, including Terrell Owens spurning the Hall of Fame. We'll see you in a bit.